international team led by Ikrisat has cracked the genome of pigeon pea. We have captured about 48,000 genes in the genome that are mainly responsible for making for the genetic map of different varieties or lines of the crop. This is a milestone for legume research as this is the second legume after soybean for which genome has been sequenced. And indeed, this is the first time that any CGIR center or any institute located in India has led the genome sequencing of a major food crop. The genome sequence opens the door to crop improvement that are needed for sustainable human and animal food production in the marginal environments of Africa and Asia where crop is mainly grown by poor farmers. India is home to pigeon pea crop and therefore genome sequence coming from Ikrisat located in India is of great significance. Although the largest production of pigeon pea comes from India, the crop productivity in India and many other developing countries of Africa and Asia uh, is less than one tons per hectare. I expect our improved understanding of the pigeon pea genome will have a major impact on crop improvement, especially for the tackling several diseases like fusarium wilt or sterility mosaic disease that are constraining the crop production at present. The completion of the pigeon pea genome will also allow us to sequence more than 14,000 accessions which are present in our gene bank. This will help us to understand the genetic variation the crop is having and also to devise the strategy how to use this genetic variation in crop breeding. Now the pigeon pea which used to be called an orphan crop had joined the league of the major crop of the world like rice, maize and soybean for which genome sequence have been made available on recently. I believe that the availability of the pigeon pea genome will usher the crop into a new era of molecular breeding. In the end, I believe that pigeon pea genome sequence will be a valuable resource for the basic researcher and breeder alike. On one hand, it provides a springboard for research into pigeon peas DNA structure and protein making machinery. On the other hand, this genome sequence will facilitate development of superior varieties and hybrids in faster manner that will generate more income and will enhance the livelihood of the poor farmers. So I would say that this genome sequence is dedicated to the poor farmers of marginal environments of Africa and Asia for whom ICRISET and our collaborating centers are working.